In the early light of this proud morning, when London and the world prepare for the Queen's crowning at Westminster, a man of many memories thinks back over many royal occasions. intimate and happy occasions, these. For he who remembers them is Marcus Adams, royal photographer. He possesses many reminders to aid his recollections. A child remembered in a photograph. Trinkets and bells that made a princess laugh. A smiling princess coaxed to play with toys his memory enjoys. A pleasant memory of a simple scene. Then trinkets, now regalia, now Elizabeth is queen. Windsor, Royal Windsor. To the little princess, this was home. And still to the queen, this is the best loved of her home. Windsor Forest, the evergreen background of happy youth. Windsor Forest, where our queen first learned to ride. Windsor Forest, where our queen still rides and where her children in their turn are finding happiness, favorite places, the peace that will always linger in their minds. A traditional countryside, but a countryside that is home. When Elizabeth was 11, her father planted oaks at Windsor to commemorate another coronation day. Now the young queen will continue the tradition. And the sweet Thames, before it flows to the Abbey Church of Westminster, visits the great castle upon a hill, that proud home of monarchy. Windsor, so proud, so bold, and so serene. And in this royal domain, long may she reign. Elizabeth is queen. He and his camera recall them as they grew, as the child grew to womanhood. With the years of childhood, past the trinkets and the toys of childhood, there remain the memories and the reminders. The doll that made the princess smile is laid aside a little while but lives to coax new happiness 
for a child prince and another princess. A royal line, a family likeness. The House of Windsor. In this royal academy, the line we have honored and loved. Those who brought new meaning to the age-old theme of throne and people. Those who served the people, whom the people were happy to serve. And now, as London and the world prepares, Elizabeth is queen. London prepares, for this is London's day. London on holiday and proud. The happy heartbeat of the Cockney crowd. London is royal and gay. In the early light of this proud morning, London prepares. New Elizabethan London. London young again and gaily dressed. Shakespeare's man in the street. The eternal cockneys. The pearlies with their donkey shade trotting from Queen Victoria's time into our own. 